An average day for homegrown hideaways is waking up as early as possible and uh, jumping in on whatever chores we might have for the day, whether it be the garden or uh, construction projects, lots of laundry, lots of mowing. Lots of mowing. <laughs> Meat eating. Cutting wood. Yes, lots of firewood. Um, we sell bundles to the guests and then we heat our house with wood, so lots of firewood. Um, those are probably the, the main day-to-day -day chores that we do here. So guests come to stay with us um, because they want uh, to unplug. Uh, there's no cell phone, there's no Wi-Fi out here. A lot of them are looking for outdoor recreation, so we send them to hike at the Pinnacles at the Indian Port Theater of Berea College. Um, we also have the canoe and the kayak um, that they can rent and either hit the reservoir here or head over to Owsley Fork Reservoir. Uh, and then uh, when they don't buy meals from us here because he's working or they just want to see what's happening in town, we have all the local restaurants in Berea that we like to direct them to. So um, they get lots of Berea love when they come out here. And last year we had uh, almost 600 guests from 19 states and four countries stay with us for 2017. Uh, so one of the things that we like to offer our guests when they come stay with us is Nathan is a chef. So um, a lot of the food that we grow gets turned into meals that he makes, um, farm to table meals, whatever we don't grow, uh, we can source from the farmer's market. Well, I've, I've been cooking since I was 18 years old and um, I found out I was pretty decent at it. When we started doing this business, um, it was something we wanted to offer to people and and we do some some special dinners for people for like anniversaries and such. We've cooked back at structures for them on the deck and whatnot so they didn't have to leave their area and, um, and it's entertaining for them also. I think it's way harder to sit behind a desk for 10 hours in front of a computer. I've done that and I would much rather sweat and get dirty and at the end of the day I can step away and say I built this or I grew this and so to me that makes it a really easy choice. Um, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Berea just opened so many doors that without Berea this place would not exist. Um, I mean maybe it would but the chances are very low and so um, I definitely attribute at least 85% of homegrown hideaways to my time at Berea. We are standing in front of Abby's Arboreal Abode and Hammock Haven, shortened to AHA. Uh, um, it belonged, the yurt itself belonged to our friend Abby. Um, she unfortunately passed away. And so her um, friends and family donated the yurt to us um, so that we could put it up for her memorial service and thus carry on Abby's uh, spirit. And so um, when people stay here, we donate 10% of the net proceeds to partnering with Abby, which supports um, appropriate technology projects at a school that she interned at in uh, Africa. So um, that's the bonus of staying in Abby's, aside from the fact that it's really awesome. <laughs> Lodging, events, and food were the three main things that we wanted to um, focus on. We wanted to do workshops um, to show folks you know, how to do natural building or um, how to ino inoculate mushroom logs. So um, all of those components have come together and um, we're really proud of what we've done.